Hey guys, welcome back to Midwest Coasters. I'm Anderson. Today, we are going to be looking at what King's Island's next coaster could be. Uh, if you guys want to drop a like, that would be great. And if you guys want to shout out, definitely comment below Midwest Coasters or King's Island or something. Just comment below and I will shout you out in a future video. Uh, anyway, so let's get straight into uh, what King's Island's next coaster will be. Uh, so generally, where do we think it's going to be? Let's be uh, let's be honest. <laughs> the next location they're going to use is the flat vortex land that they have. It's not crazy flat, um, but it is flat enough for a coaster, as you saw they built. Um, I do believe that's where their next coaster is going to be because it doesn't make sense to clear more land just to add something new, uh, especially when you have a perfectly good plot there. Now, I could see them doing a. Uh, a, uh, what's it, why can I never think of this? Uh, like the uh, there's that uh, village with actors in Cedar Point. I can't think of the name. Uh, that uh, there was talks of that going to Wonderland, and it wouldn't be weird to see it go to King's Island, especially because it is a good attraction for families uh, to just experience something. Obviously, all these parks have amazing entertainment. Uh, more so Cedar Point than King's Island, but. Um, but then to add on an extra area with actors and a story and a plot line, it really all connects and it will work out. So I could definitely see that. But if they decide that maybe that isn't perfect for that area, well, then I could definitely see a coaster. And what type of coaster is the question? So they obviously do not need a wooden coaster. Uh, I'm going to see the racer sticking out, sticking out for the long haul. I do believe Beast is going to stay there, and Mystic Timbers will obviously be there for a while, so there's no reason for a wooden coaster. And as for the steels, they have a good amount, they have a few uh, gaps there. They need a, uh, a good, I would say, looping coaster, they have a good Hyper um, and a good Giga, but the Banshee covers, I would say, part of the looping section. Flight of Fear also does cover kind of the looping section, and that's where I feel like they need something uh, like Flight of Fear to fill this gap. So I could be looking at a few different things. First off, uh, my first guess out of three, the first guess I could be seeing uh, is a uh, is a Mac launch coaster. Now that doesn't relate with what I was saying, but I, I'll get to that. Um, I could definitely see a Mac launch coaster, like I said. Uh, this would have a focus on inversions. You could have a good amount of airtime moments to balance that out uh, with Flight of Fear. And this would spread out the coasters in the park. Obviously, Vortex had a pretty good location. All the coasters in this park are spread out in completely different locations. And this would just give people a reason to get to the back of the park, whereas they don't necessarily need, other than maybe Mystic Timbers, but that's not even quite the back of the park. Um, so that, that will then help with a bit of guest flow, getting people back in the park to go around. Uh, and that's why I was back there. When Vortex was there, I was hitting up each ride. Uh, I went Beast Vortex, but now it doesn't make sense to do that. It doesn't make sense to go around in a circle because there's that, there's that missing ride there. So I definitely see a Mac launch coaster working out just like Top Rise Strike. What's my second, um, second guess? Well, my second guest is a dive coaster. Uh, Cedar Fair has been building these tall dive machines. The GP love them. Uh, so it's not a crazy idea to think that maybe they're going to put one of these machines here at uh, King's Island. It'd be a tall ride, like I said, and bring people back to the park. And it would spread out uh, the number of guests around this park. And let's be honest, this park does need another looping coaster. Vortex was a great looper with many inversions. But with that gone, now there's a big hole in the lineup. Uh, there's a hole for a launch coaster, which is why I'm predicting the Mac coaster. But there's also a hole for a looping coaster that's non-launch. I could definitely see a launch coaster come in the future. Okay, so for separate. the third uh, one, so that's my second. I've said that a few times. Uh, for the third coaster, I still want to stick on a launch coaster. I do feel like um, that's what they need, but I don't really see them getting a uh, super, like, what they have with Flight of Fear is, they don't have multi-launch, so that's what I'm looking at, but they also don't really have a, what I, like, super intense launch, so I would, could 
possibly see this as far-fetched, but something like Pantheon with Intamin, uh, a multi-launched but super intense coaster that would take uh, <laughs> Flight of Fear to the next level. Uh, it, would, it, it would also really fit highly with their lineup, and I wouldn't see that being necessarily their next coaster. I know that's what this is, but I don't see that being next. I see that being far off after they fill uh, a few void, I, before they fill one void in their lineup, like the looping coaster, I would see them them bring the launch coaster. So if, if this is to come, this Pantheon type ride, I would probably see um, a dive coaster coming first. Something looping and then this, maybe a floorless even. Uh, but this is definitely a possibility and would fit in their lineup. And I think it's a little far-fetched, but it's also uh, our co us coaster of these is dangerous. Can't we? Uh, so that's gonna be pretty much it for this episode. Uh, again, with a probably pretty high chance, especially because they work with Mac. Uh, I would say about a 40% chance to next coaster being a Copperhead Strike type ride from Mac. Uh, with like 20%, I could see a dive coaster. Uh, and with a 5% chance, because there's literally no chance. I know that doesn't even add up to 100. But uh, I could see a Pantheon uh, style ride uh, from Intimate. It's super intense and super fun. Uh, go hit that subscribe button, like, and comment where it is. Midwest. God, guys. Uh, comment Midwest Coasters down below if you guys want a shout out, and I'll see you guys next time here on Midwest Coasters. Goodbye.